aldosterone promotes the reabsorption of sodium and water by acting on the kidney, and this concentrates the urine and raises both blood pressure and blood volume. Reabsorption of sodium and water into the bloodstream by direct action on the kidney. As shown in this table, angiotensin II has a variety of other effects due to its stimulation of AT1 receptors. For example, it can introduce more fluid into the body by stimulating the hypothalamus of the brain. Okay, so one of our Instagram friends requested a review video on the RAAS system. And that stands for the Renin Angiotensin Aldosterone System. So I'm Why is it reading a heart rate of 215? Yeah. I think it's picking up for T waves as well as a right. complex. Hi, my name is Dr. Mike Evans, and this is a quick overview for people with kidneys that are failing. We need some insight into the treatment options, including the different types of dialysis, as well as how to know when it's time to start dialysis. So let's start with the Kidney 101. You know, we talk a lot about balance and health, and your kidneys are the superstar of balance. Whether it's fluids, body chemistries, or blood pressure, our kidneys orchestrate with other major organs to keep this delicate equilibrium going 24-7. All this while filtering out waste products created by our body's metabolism. So, so when your kidneys start to shut down, your body has a hard time keeping a balance. You, you might retain fluid or, or waste products, your potassium or sodium might become abnormal, your blood pressure might rise. This can all make you feel rotten and, and raise your risk for serious illness. So you need a